Hello guys, welcome to Photoshop Tutorials. Subscribe to our channel for regular updates. The source files are given as a link in the description below. Now let's get into the tutorial. Select the background layer and click on Controller Command J to duplicate a layer. Now click on Controller Command Shift A to open Camera Raw so we have to perform some basic exposure adjustments. The main thing you have to do in Camera Raw is to cut the shadows and decrease the highlights to bring down all the overexposed areas. I'm decreasing the exposure a bit since the skin is exposed. The main objective of adjusting the basic settings is to make the picture look like an even light portrait. Moving on to detail. Increase sharpening amount to 50 points and noise reduction, luminance to 20 points. OK, this is fine. Moving on to HSL adjustments. Here you can find three tabs, hues, saturation, luminance. By adjusting the hues, you can see the color changes happening on the subject or in the background. This is done just to pop up the background colors mostly. In saturation you can increase the vibrance of every single color in this picture. By adjusting the luminance, you can darken or lighten the color available in the picture. Next, moving on to split toning. Slightly adjusting the colors. OK, this is fine. Moving back to HSL adjustments. I'm looking for a blue kind of effect on the background. OK, this is fine. Moving on to calibration to make the picture more vibrant. Hit on OK once you're done. Let's tone up the skin. Open a new selective colors adjustment layer. Adjusting the reds and yellows to tone up the skin. Let's tone up the background. Adjusting the yellows and greens. OK, this is fine. Let's make the background look like it's blurred. But we're not gonna blur the background. This is a kind of a trick which makes your subject to look like it's sharper. We are gonna brush the background basically. Now let's get into it. Open a new layer. Select the brush tool. Brush settings opacity 100% and flow 5% approximately. Click on eye to switch to eyedropper tool. Select the color behind the subject and start brushing gently. As you brush, switch to eyedropper tool to select the source color. OK, this is fine. 
open a layer mask and brush out the subject from it. Okay, we're done. Let's cover up the white area using a clone stamp tool. Open a new layer, select the stamp tool and start cloning. Okay, this is fine. Let's darken around the subject. Open a new layer. Select black. Brush setting, opacity 100%, flow 10% approximately. Start brushing smoothly around the subject. Decreasing the opacity to look natural. Now let's do some local dodge and burn. Open a new layer, click on Shift, F5. On the dialog box select Contents option and click on 50% Gray, Blending Mode Normal and Opacity 100%. Hit on OK. Turn the Gray Layer Blending Mode to Soft Light. Select the Brush Tool, Masking Colors Black and White. Brush setting opacity 100%, flow 1% or changeable accordingly. Now select white and start dodging the subject. Only highlight the areas where you see lights on the subject. Once you're done with the dodge, select black and start burning, burn only the areas where you see shadows. A tip for the beginners. If you're in the starting stage of learning to dodge and burn, you can use two gray layers, one for dodge and one for burn. If you're a pro then you can go with a single layer. See that you cover all the areas in a subject. The more time you take the more effective output you will get. Okay let me speed up this process.
Okay guys we are done with the local dodge and burn. Now let's move on to separation of the subject from the background. Open a new level adjustment layer, increase shadows a bit. Now select the brush tool and start brushing out the subject from the dark using a layer mask. Ok we are done with this step. Let's tone up the overall image. Open a new channel mixer adjustment layer. Keeping the output channel as red and adjusting the bars. I'm trying for a blue kind of feel. Ok let's go with this. Let's add some makeup to her eyes and lip. Open a new layer. Select brush tool and select the source color from the spot itself and brush smoothly. Change the blending mode to soft light. Decreasing the opacity to make it look natural. Let's darken around the subject. Open a new layer. Select black. Brush setting, opacity 100%, flow 10% approximately. Start brushing smoothly around the subject. Let's move on to the final image tone boosting process. Select the topmost layer and click on Ctrl or Command, Shift, Alt, E to merge all the below layers to form a new layer. Now click on controller command, shift A to open camera raw. Let's now boost up the image using camera raw. The final color grading plays a major role of fine tuning a picture. Most of the professionals will bring up their personal touch using this final tuning process. Ok now let's get into it. Adjusting the basic settings to see whether this will bring up something better. Moving on to curves to brighten the highlights and increasing the shadows to form a depth. Let's go to split toning which creates the final tone of the image, I'm looking for a reddish green color. Ok this is fine for me. Moving on to calibration to make the picture more vibrant. Ok this is fine. Hit on ok once you're done. We've come to the end of this tutorial, if you have any doubts you can ask them on the comments section below. Hope this tutorial was useful, hit on the like button if you like this video, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for regular updates. Follow us on Instagram, link given in the description below.